name is Evie and this is the very third episode of The Band, so we're making progress. And uh, today I really want to talk about the recession. For those of you who refuse to believe or refuse to agree, Nigeria is officially receding. And uh, recession basically means that, you know, the economy is going backwards instead of going forward. In layman's terms, it means that the economy is going backwards. But if we're defining it economically, it basically means that there's a temporary decline in uh, domestic production or trade and domestic production, or there's a drop in the GT GDP in two successive quarters, I think. It's a, lot, it's a lot of English. But basically what it means is, you know, uh, trade and investments have reduced and so it is affecting output, it's affecting the economy and thereby affecting the regular man. So why I'm here today is to give you tips as to how to survive a recession. Someone said to me that um, he has no problem with things, with a country being in recession. A friend of mine sent to me, he said he has no problem with a country being in recession. America has been through it but the problem he has with Nigeria is the fact that when things become expensive is almost always going to remain permanent because most times when things go up you hardly ever hear that they come back down i mean the dollar went from you know uh, one naira to the dollar to two naira to five naira to ten naira to 100 to 160 to now 400 naira so there's really no guarantee that the dollar is going to go back to 160 as we knew in the past although the government has assured us that uh in a couple of months, we should give you time that the difficulty will pass, but then this is Nigeria. So anyway, I'm here to give you a couple of tips as to how to survive during a recession. My very first tip is to have an emergency fund. Save an emergency fund. Basically what an emergency fund is, is um, something that keeps you on a day-to-day -day basis. So for instance, companies are cutting down hours, com companies are sacking staff companies are reducing overhead so what that means is you might wake up tomorrow and may no longer have a job so how you survive is your emergency fund so it will help you on a day-to-day -day basis up until when you can get another job so it covers up for the you know the break in when you're searching for something else to do so make sure you have an emergency fund safe so you can always run to that and you know use to take care of yourself my second tip would be to establish a budget and then pay debts now, a lot of us are in lots of debt. Uh, I recently just cleared a debt that I really did not need to have. But because, Asher, to be honest, it's really ridiculous. It was Asher B debt, about two different Asher B debt. And so things like that are really not things that you need to be doing in a recession. It's time for you to cut down on your excesses. Like for me, I'm no longer taking any Asher B to the end of the year. It's like we have to now make proper decisions. A bag of rice is now 25,000 naira, so I cannot be paying 25,000 naira for Asher B anymore. We have to be more reasonable so cut down on your um create a budget and then pay your debts and make sure that going forward you have less debts to deal with the third one is to downsize or live a more frugal lifestyle now frugal not in the sense that you become stingy and constantly count your pennies or your coins no but frugal in the sense that if it's an excess then don't do it you don't need to spend excessively if you don't need to travel stay in nigeria except it's for business and if the business is not going to give bring you return on investment then i think you should avoid it altogether so only make sure that you do the necessary spending you know so be cautious of all that you do if you really want to survive in this recession period i would also advise that you diversify your income basically what that means is to not put all your eggs in one basket it means that you know if for, for instance if your money is tied in stock exchange right now and the economy is receding stock exchange is really not the place to be because what means what it means is your investment is dropping it's not growing because the market obviously in fact the market is basically going down so that also has a ripple effect on your stock so what you need to do is have various portals of investment so even if one isn't paying now the other one will be paying so when you have different things that are paying you at the same time and also do not depend on the one job it's like if your country is in recession nigeria is in recession you cannot depend on one source of income so you have to have various sources of, of income because what happens if your company wakes up and sacks you tomorrow that means you have no job you have no money and you have family that you need to feed so diversify your income get one or two jobs you can do one job if i get a weekend job get a night job just as much income as you can generate during this period you need to generate that much income because that's the only way that you can stay afloat during a recession and for you know young entrepreneurs or that are starting out um if you're having difficulty staying afloat obviously go through your your staff for instance there might be some people that are redundant that you don't need or there must be some people that have you know 
the, the duplicate roles um, you know you let go of one you just try to be more reasonable if you need to cut down salaries you cut down salaries but then again if you cut down salaries is a ripple effect because it also affects the other person's family but then the reasonable business choice is to cut down salaries and reduce company expenses to help you stay afloat uh, right now lots of businesses are not making profit which is going to happen for a longer period of time so what happens is if you can cut down expenses it helps you reduce the cost of running your business thereby helping you to at least be able to save a bit of profit even if it's not what even if you're not able to break even or even even if it's not the regular margin that you would have had if there was no recession but at least if you can cut down it still helps you to be able to save a couple coins or you know for yourself yeah and also for small businesses i would also advise that you review your marketing for instance you're a small business that you're starting out and you're into television broadcasting and you know radio and this and that i think you should probably let go of all of that now and focus more on online advertising because online advertising is cheaper and you have a tendency to reach a larger number of people and at a lesser price so it's all about being reasonable during the economy during this economic recession be reasonable be reasonable be reasonable nobody's going to come out and tell you the things to do but these are just tips for you to live by you know and so you stay afloat and stay on top of your game all through the economic recession manage effect Effectively, effective management is key to success. Manage effectively and reduce discounting because you cannot really afford to be discounting on goods and services now because you are obviously buying at a higher rate. So if you are discounting, you're kind of at a loss. So reduce discounting, but also make people make people know that whatever goods or service you're offering them is a unique goods or service so it makes them come back it's really not about the discounts that you give people that makes them come back it's about the customer experience it's about how they feel when they step into your business or your space or the experience that they get after they work with you so make sure that you do a good job as opposed to giving discounts because discounts only mean that you're going to run into a loss but if you do a good job it means that you know customers will keep coming back you know so um yeah, so that's it. So my, 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 my key tip to be save, 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 increase your income, reduce your amount of spending, be frugal, be reasonable, manage, you know, be economical. Uh, these are basically key tips to help you move forward um, during this recession period. And as you all know, Bob Brisk is making a lot of money this period. So I think some of you should also tap into that Snapchat marketing and be controversial like Bob Brisk. It probably will help you with your money making scheme. And so, yeah, so uh, it was fun chatting with you guys. See you same time next week.